Morning guys, so I copied some data onto the free NAS. I'm a little bit confused about the volume names and how I should do sharing exactly and guest access and user permit and user accounts and blah 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 blah. But um, I think I'll work through that. Let me just take this off. So what I'm gonna try to do now is pretend I have a disk failure or one of the disks are out. I'm going to try and mount this right now on my Arch Linux machine, see if I can read back the data. I guess, I'm all, I guess I'll boot this up to see if it boots. And I can also access the data despite it missing a copy of the data on the mirror. And what else? I was also thinking of pretending that the, the boot disk, which I, I have plugged in here, on the, on the board inside the case, thanks to a comment. Uh, I'm gonna try recreate that and pretend that I lost that too. So that's my free NAS experiments for today. Um, I'm actually struggling to, to mount this. Let me try something else. Um, I'm gonna guess that that this thing doesn't have enough power to power this bad boy. So I've got this dusty thing out of the cupboard. See if I can get it to work. Oh no! I st yeah, I need to remove the caddy. Oh, that's annoying. So what does it say about my storage? Does it go crazy? really don't like this web interface actually, it's just kind of crap. Okay, that didn't, yeah, that looks right. But I was expecting it to, oh, it, there is a critical thing here. Oh, it's critical. Hmm, okay, did, did something I expected it to do. I wonder if I can still write to it though. Okay, the real test is if I can actually read this from my Linux system. Has anyone come across a, a better KD system? This one annoys me. Like a screwless one, you know, something like... That would be cool, wouldn't it? Let's plonk it in here. Look at this. Okay, that sounds better. That sounds like it's got power. STB two partitions, interesting. So let's mount, let's see what Ellis blocks is. It is Bluk. ZFS member. Okay. Okay, SDB2 that looks like the one to mount. Only root can do that, of course. Unknown system type ZFS member. Uh huh. That's interesting, isn't it? Zpool. What is Zpool? Where do I find that? Zpool. Shit, this doesn't look easy. <clears throat> do I have Zpool? Okay. Um, how do I find this? Oh, man. Oh, no. Isn't there no... Damn, this doesn't look easy to get running. Oh, man. Okay, this is not looking easy. DKMS. ZFS. DKMS. Yep, it's 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 bringing it in. I just want to read my files. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's see if I can st still mount. Curious enough, I can still. Akfeth. 
Yeah, the the free NAS experience here is not very good. Um, I can you see that? Like, nothing ever shows up. I I have to like connect manually here. Um, connect. Guest. And okay, now the files show up. And is jail supposed to be in my share? I think I might have messed up. The good news is that when I was using sharing yesterday, um, just doing copying uh, or moving option dragging on my MacBook, it was it was fast. I wasn't. It was fast. Uh, you know, the ARM stuff just can't keep up with um, with x86. I just just a, just don't bother. Uh, Intel Atom or whatever is the I/O is so much better. ZFS is a zero administration file system. ZFS daemon must be loaded. For each pool you want automatically mounted, execute pool. What's the name of my pool? Is it red? I'm getting confused between pool volumes, or mount points. I don't want to automatic stuff. I just want to just mount it. How do I mount you? Z pool status, huh? Hopefully, Z pool status is all I need. Four sixteen ten is that what I'm running? Hopefully, the module can just be. What? What's the error? Okay, I think the problem was is that I didn't have the headers in there, but now ZFS should be ready to rumbles. Uh, still don't know what the exact commands are to get it going though. But let's try again something. No pools available. Hmm. I saw an import. Then. making a whirring noise. <sighs> Can't. I don't know why there's two partitions, but anyway. Hmm. How to import pool. This is desperate, isn't it? Desperate. All right, I'm just gonna use that pool import red. I'm just desperate here. No minus D has been used. Okay, minus F. Damn, this is tricky just to start reading from my own drive my own data okay now can i mount it how do i mount it okay definitely seems to be stuff here okay still struggling to mount it Where is it mounted? Oh, it just mounts right here. I got it mounted! I got my data! Okay, that was a bit painful, but uh, I think I figured it out. Um, how do you unmount? Um, for the exercise of completeness, I put the drive back, it's still critical. Um, hmm. 
God, I hate this user interface. So these two disks. How do I know if they're syncing up or something? Scrub volume status up. Ah, online, online. Okay, that's great. Error is zero. That sounds good. But why are you still critical, buddy? Johnny, no. No. He's trying to help me. What am I missing here, guys? Oh, here we go. Z pool clear. Ah. Is that how you resolve errors? No, no, did it. Oh, great, there's no scroll back buffer. Jeez. Oh, God, what an awful shell. Still critical. I'm really not getting a good vibe from this, seriously. I don't know what to do. How do I make this work, guys? I'm gonna, I'm gonna reboot it just to. Finally, after a reboot, it says okay. Um. Yeah, like. I'm unimpressed by this. Is there a better notification system than than this interface provides? You know. I, this is why I'm using an interface, so it makes my life easier. But if, if the CLI Z pool status tells me if it's degraded <laughs> better than this does, then I'm wondering why I'm using this. Okay, this is my FreeNAS installs disk. And here's another USB key. So actually, I actually have no idea what's on this thing, but anyway, um, I'm taking out the, the root one that I've configured already. So I'm going to pretend that I've somehow lost this or this has become destroyed. I'm curious to know how easy it is to rebuild my system given the disk. And ideally like the config about my volumes, my shares, uh, my users are just like a JSON file like microtik. Um, well, just some sort of essentially one configuration file. Okay, so. I just redid it. Oh god. This oh it was fine. Oh it's found my volume. I'm liking this. Oh yeah, it's all here. It's all here. So do people put their jails in there? I mean, do people show their jails? Can I view it? Yes. Great. So I'm quite satisfied. I think I will stick with FreeNAS. I think. But just some, I just got a little bit out of peace of mind. If, if you can think of some other little tests that I should do, please let me know. Please like the video. Thank you for watching. See you guys. Bye now.